Hello and welcome to your LUU Leadership Race Manifesto Roundup for the role of Community Officer. And over the next year, the Community Officer can expect to be dealing with the Council proposing to make large changes across the City of Leeds. And the majority of candidates in this category are proposing to implement some sort of student-sourced landlord rating system. There are five candidates running for the position of Community Officer next year, so... Let's take a look at what they propose to do. Dami Adebayo is first up and he is currently a contract checking volunteer with Unipol. He wants to hold an annual forum with the police and crime commissioner so that students can directly get their views across. He wants to expand the student ID card scheme currently held with Amber Cars to more cab companies so you can get home safer and guarantee that any decision to ban or re-include any major item or policy will go to a campus-wide referendum. Next up, we have George Bradley, who is a challenge leader for Leeds RAG. He wants to establish an opportunities portal for local businesses to post student-specific work experience, make a directory of important addresses and phone numbers that all new and returning students will receive at the start of each year, and set up regular pop-up collection spots for students to donate unwanted items. Our third candidate for the position of community officer is Sam Joseph, who wants to introduce a volunteer-led SWAT team to help students walk home after dark, establish an online car-sharing initiative for students, and support Leeds' first student-run housing cooperative to give students more control over their own homes. Our penultimate candidate is Bryony Lawless, currently LUU community rep for South Headingley. She wants to lobby more landlords to offer nine-month contracts so you don't have to pay those excessive summer rents, initiate a more sustainable delivery service between the Union and Kirkgate Market to allow students to pick up their shopping without leaving campus, and start a regular student mentor scheme sourcing from a wide range of expertise and fields. And finally, we have your current LUU community officer, Frankie O'Byrne, who wants to offer a storage space to allow people to move between homes easier, lobby the council to increase and improve cycle lanes around Leeds, and implore landlords to fit burglar alarms and secure locks in all houses across Leeds. That concludes the manifesto roundup for all five candidates running for the position of community officer in this year's LUU leadership race. If you'd like to know about candidates running for the other five positions on the exec, then feel free to click the links on the screen now. Just a reminder that voting opens on Monday the 17th of March and closes at 4pm on Thursday the 20th. The results will then be counted up and verified and announced on the 21st of March at 5pm in the Union Foyer and on Leeds Student Radio. You can also join the discussion on Twitter using the hashtag LeadLUU. And for more information with anything to do with this year's leadership race, head over to www.luu.org.uk forward slash LeadLUU.